Hey, crafty family. Um, I wanted to show you guys some stuff today. I have not been around pretty much all week because I've been working my butt off. I'm surprised I'm able to sit in this chair because I have no butt. It's gone. I have no nails still and I have no butt. Um, but I was working on this pocket letter. Um, it's a little bit warped because I painted it. Of course, anytime you paint chipboard, it gets a little bit bendy. A little bit bent, but you can fix it. Um, but I wanted to show it to you because I think it came out pretty badass. Um, if I can move this up and show you. I didn't put it in the sleeves yet. Um, I was letting it sit here and dry. It's now dry, but I just wanted to show it to you. See what you think. So the person that I got, um, the person, uh, yeah. Wendy, I showed you, the last time I showed you pocket letters, I showed you a pink one from her, and I said that hers was, you know, get, getting done and sent out. Well, I made hers, um, and she wanted, she likes the color teal and red together, and then she also likes things that are vintage and strange and stuff like that, so I did a vintage and strange pocket letter, and, like, each there's like pictures on it that are like really weird and just kind of bizarre and kind of cool looking and I just wanted to do something with like weird pictures. There's like a girl and an egg. I mean, there's just weird, weird, weird things going on in these pictures. Um, so I kind of did that and I ripped them and, and then put them on here and that's like crackle paint and there's book pages and two of them, these two are covered with uh, a piece of... Um, uh, tooling and then this one I wrote like get your freak on and then here I put being weird is okay and on this one I put people are strange just like you know just kind of whimsical fun you know kind of thing so I'm going to put these in the um, in their sleeves tonight and hopefully get them sent out uh, early next week um, so I got some happy mail though during the week this week one of the things I got was this stuff here which yeah this is like a lot of cool stuff right here these are all like trims i'm trying to remember where i got them from because my brain is like fried right now where did i get these from i got them through my group you know chic crafty through the group i'm in um we have a, a sister group that you know it's like a group an extension to our group and it's called chic crafty boutique and various vendors local you know well you know small kind of small run craft vendors can sell and give discounts to the folks that are in Chic Craftique, which is another reason why you should join that group. Um, and when they do, they, they post up, you know, online. So I ordered this from her and I can't find her. Well, I'll post her um, information down below. I'll just put like under where I'll just put like the trim, like trims and then I'll put who I got them from because they're all trims. So the first one I got was um, this trim here, which is like a like a leaf kind of trim. It's pink. It's real pretty. I got like four yards of each one because they were so cheap that four yards was like, you know, I think like five dollars maybe, if that. So it was not, it was worth it to get, you know, because I think she only sold it in three yards, two, two yards, four yards, something like that. Um, and then there's this one, which is just like the teardrop. A lot of crafters I've seen use this. Um, there's that one. Sorry for the crinkle crinkle. And then there is standard, um, just a standard pearl bead kind of trim. This is an ivory because I like the ivory colors. Because you could still paint these if you wanted to, but you can also use them for a very vintage look. So it's just a strand of pearls. I think that's also four yards. And then I got another pink one, which is. Come back here. Which is this one here. I like that one too. So, yeah. That one, and then there's one more, and that's the gold, which I was, I had some of this a long time ago, and I had used it up like a year or so ago, and could not find it anywhere, 
and I was so happy to get it back because I love doing like gold and pink pocket letters or purple and, and, and gold stuff like that anything with gold always looks cool and so I love using the gold um, flat back trim that's always fun so I got those from her and then I also got um, from uh, Crafty Bits and Pieces, my friend uh, Marisol at Crafty Bits and Pieces, she sells a lot of her stuff in, scrap in scrapbook deals and also in the Chic Crafty Boutique. Um, and she offered a deal, you know, and so I got some stuff from her. And I also got a sneak peek. I think this is still mine. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Um, so I just ordered some more of those little ceramic flowers and then some little appliques. And then she also sent me, this is a sneak peek of one of the prizes for the 1,000 subscriber giveaway. This is one of them. I'm still waiting on one other one so that I, then we can do the contest. So just got one more just waiting on it. Um, I'll find out what's going on. But this is like a little trinket box. I'm not going to give too much away, but it's got a lot of really cool stuff in it. I'm just going to say that. And then this box, I'm not telling you what's inside of it, but trust me, it's a good prize. I promise. You'll love it. You'll love it, love it, love it. It's something to alter, and it's something that could be altered in many ways, but a lot of people do it in shabby chic, but it's amazing. It's amazing. It's, I'm jealous because I do not have one of these, and I am jealous. I, I opened it, and I was like, oh, man. I'm like, I want that. I wanted to keep it. But, of course, I'm not. I'm giving it to you guys. So. That's what I got. And then today, 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 I was so surprised when I came home, there was a package. Now I'm expecting a swap. So I thought that was what the package was. So I bring it inside and I come upstairs and I look at the name and I'm like, that's not my swap partner's name. And I didn't really even recognize the name. So I opened the, I opened the package and I thought, oh, the Prima Dolls that I ordered came in early you know I thought because they weren't they're not supposed to come in until like the 28th ish or something and it was like all these prima dolls and then I'm looking at them and I'm like I don't think I ordered that many and I'm like these are different and I didn't see these even to buy them and then I real then I you know stupidly didn't read the card and then I read the card and the card said Hello, this is a little something for you. I hear you like them as much as I do. I had an extra one, and I'm thinking, extra one? She had an extra arsenal of them, um, which I got for my granddaughter, but she is she is a true artist and does not play with dolls. Apparently she, apparently she told her grandma, I don't play with dolls, grandma. Um, this is from DC Scrap and Rooster. DC Scrap and Rooster and I... Used to both live in New Jersey. We don't know each other, but we both lived in New Jersey and we both moved to Tennessee. Isn't that funny? And we're both crafters and we're both on YouTube. I find that hilarious. That's just, I don't know. To me, that's just weird. But anyway, she had said she was sending me a little something and I just thought, you know, I had no idea. And then all this came and I, I just about died when I realized what it was. Because at first I'm thinking... Well, that's not what I ordered. And then I'm like, but well, these are cute, you know? And then I'm thinking, well, it doesn't matter if it's not what I ordered, you know, whatever. I'll keep them because, I, you know, I do think they're really cute. And I don't, they weren't offered. These weren't even in the, I don't even think these were in the thing because I didn't see this one. And I would have totally ordered that one. I didn't see that one. And I would have totally ordered that one. And I didn't, I don't think I saw that one either. So I was like, oh, and this one with the flowy skirt. I really like that one too. So I was like, these are really cool. So apparently these are like the first edition ones, which is awesome because I don't even know if they make these anymore. But these are the ones that aren't named or anything, so I get to name them myself. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, I'm going to name them myself. Her name is going to be Gertrude. <laughs> her name is Gertrude. Uh, her name is Penelope. Let's see. Her name is Bitsy. Her name is Shaniqua. Her name is... I don't know. Her name is... Pookie. <laughs> Hold on. And her name is Kookie. So that's Pookie and Kookie and Shaniqua and Bitsy 
and um, Penelope and Gertrude. I, I remembered their names too. So I just named all my stamps. <laughs> but I was so happy to get these because now I'm like, I'm starting a real collection of something crafty, which is awesome. I feel so like honored that she sent these to me. I mean, I, I want to call her a crazy lady because she is a crazy lady. She didn't have to send me these at all. Very sweet of her to do that. And I'm just completely in love. And now it's Friday and I got them. And you know what I'm going to be doing all weekend. I mean, unfortunately, I have to work on my house and I have somebody coming and they're going to be here to help me. And so I'm going to kind of be stuck working on my house all weekend. But I'm sure that tonight, at least, I can get my chores done quick enough so that I can make some things with Penelope and Gertrude and Shaniqua and, and Pookie and Cookie and, you know, yeah. So we're going to make some fun stuff. Um, so yeah, that's really it. I just got some really cool mail today, uh, today and throughout the week and I was so excited. Oh, and she sent me, she also knows I love Halloween and I'm so glad she did because she sent me really cool Halloween confettis, which I was so excited because I cannot wait to make some shakers with Halloween confetti and put them in my Halloween pocket letters and my Halloween cards and stuff or just use them on my Halloween cards because they're really cute. I like the skull. He is really neat. This little skull dude. Little scully dude. He's kind of cool. And then there's like bats. And then there's like little spider webs. And it's got like a red sequin stuck on it. Little spider webs. They're going to be fun to play with. I can't wait to do some Halloween prima dolls. Now that I am getting quite the collection of prima dolls. I've got six here. And I own three. Or I think three. Three or four. And then... And then I have more coming. I'm so excited. I can't wait. I can't wait. Um, so anyway, yeah. That's it. Um, make sure you like this video. You know, give it a thumbs up. Because they're the only thing I got. Some thumbs. Give me an up. Um, if you like this video real quick, uh, make sure you subscribe. And I will be putting out more videos. I'm sure I'll do something this weekend. I'm not really sure. I'm hoping to do something fun this weekend instead of you know or have at least get the chance to do something fun get a video started get something going i've got that special project that i'm doing for um miriam's craft supplies um i'm hoping to get that started this week if not this weekend actually um i'm hoping that that's going to that's going to start i had a little you know, but I'm either going to start it on like Monday and get the videos all done up and maybe do it in a couple of parts or just do them all at once and then put up the parts all at once. I don't know how I'm going to do that, but, um, yeah. So look for some cool stuff. I hope you guys have a great, great weekend. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you do what you love, love what you do and be nice to people, even though they can suck sometimes. Be nice to everybody. Um, love you guys. Bye.